So I'm just going to kind of do a little quick tour of this 2001 Gemini 105 MC. No worries, because she's got a lot of really great upgrades that are not, um, they might be mentioned in the ad, but they're not, you don't see them or aware of them. So we'll just kind of get started. Uh, a quick tour. There's a little kick plate here for the uh, engine. That's kind of for the dinghy engine. However, if you had an emergency and needed that dinghy engine, you could probably you could run this boat with it, or at least steer the boat, get it out of a dangerous situation. And Seato knows that doesn't happen. So um, there's also this little chase uh, hammock seat here, and it can be laid down. And oftentimes the owner actually sleeps in this in the evenings if his wife is uh, on the helm. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go on in. Plenty of solar. It's got uh, Battleborn batteries and Victron system on it. Uh, this also has a rain catcher, so if you're out in the um, Bahamas, you can catch the rain. And then these sides, they actually will lift up for more solar if you need it. Coming on down in here. Got the helm, upgraded navigation system here, Raymarine, and then this is a touch screen. I've got it turned off, but it does work, and it's on the, I think it's m 8 m 8 <laughs> what is that? Lighthouse axiom. <laughs> anyway, so it's it's upgraded system that you could easily plug in and out. I mean, it's like plug and play for uh, electronics. Digital quantum axiom. All right, so, and then we've got the engine here. I'm not gonna open it up, but it's got less than a thousand hours, and it is. Um, it has recently been, uh, within the last couple years, the, the current owner did a, a compression check on it, it was, and it did fantastic. The recommendation at that time was to do um, change hoses and that kind of stuff, so they did. We're going to go on in, and then I'll just quickly show you as we're in the doorway here. Wash machine, that's kind of nice. On anchor, convertible bed here. Coming on down, we'll go on in gimbal stove. This is your berth clearly being used as a pantry. And then we'll go back into the master berth. Got a queen size bed here and plenty of ventilation as you can see. All of these hatches do have covers that are blackout as well so if you wanted to keep the sun out and keep it significantly cooler you could. And as you can see plenty of storage We'll go ahead and go on out and back around. Then going on to the other side, we have another berth back here. This is a full size with uh, plenty of hatches for some more ventilation, another fan here for that. And then of course, plenty of storage as well. And then we've got the screens to watch the water, you know, the, the water levels on your tanks. And then your centerboard here. And of course your head, and this head is pretty awesome. It's got a, a nice, um, oh my gosh, vacuum flush system. I cannot remember the name of the brand. I'll have to, you'll have to go back to the listing for that. Um, but, and then he's upgraded the flooring on it because he didn't want to stand in the schmug. So he's upgraded the flooring. The original flooring is underneath, so it's really good. But plenty of room, and again, plenty of ventilation for this. And then we'll go ahead and go on out, and we'll take a peek at the deck because, uh, Gemini's are kind of known for crazing, and this one's got a few of them, a little bit of it, a little bit of it. <laughs> I should probably watch where I'm going. Uh, also, winches here, and this is for, um, what is that? I can't remember what it's called, but there's winches back here. You can use them for your dinghy or you can use them for sailing. Now, let's look at this. So, I'm going to try and show you some of the crazing here see if I can get out of the light enough that you can see what I'm seeing here. There we go. Not, not a lot on it, but there is some. I believe this was done in their uh, top coat. Again, all new ground tackle for the anchor system. The, oh, i trying to show you. <laughs> The rigging has been certified okay, and then there's some new sales, again, in the listing for information. And then this, this mast has little, a ladder on it, so you can actually climb up it if you want. But just kind of doing a quick tour. I'm sure there's plenty that I missed, but uh, feel welcome to call me if you have any questions. Thanks. Schedule a tour.